Yeah, Amir, a person is struck by a train an average of about once every three hours across the country. I spent the day with educators on train safety, and what they have to say is pretty simple. As humans, we are no match for trains. It's here on the railroad, where much of our nation's resources are transported. For as picturesque as trains and railways can be, they are extremely dangerous especially in Georgia. We have a lot of train movements, a lot of motor vehicle traffic, and a lot of crossings. Jenny Glasgow is the Georgia State Coordinator for Operation Lifesaver. The nationwide nonprofit group educates the public on train safety. Today, Macon Bib Mayor Robert Rickert and residents of Macon were given train safety tips. Operation Lifesaver gives the tutorials aboard Norfolk Southern Trains, one of the largest freight train companies in the country. Melvin Crawley is the company's division superintendent. We believe in Norfolk Southern that safety is good business by preventing injuries, accidents, potential fatalities. So right now we're on the exhibit car, the safety train. It teaches the passengers about all the different products that Norfolk Southern transports all across the country. Here's another cool component to this exhibit car. It's got a locomotive simulator. On this, it's got a power throttle that can increase your speed and a horn that puts you in the seat of an engineer. This is Thomas. He's an engineer with a very suitable name. If it's an automobile, nobody wins, but I'm going to go home in the evening. He says time after time, drivers willfully ignore cross bucks, which indicate a train is coming. Daily. Yeah, daily. Go around gates. They'll see you coming. They'll be going along parallel with you. And there'll be a crossing ahead, and they'll go up and go over the crossing. Every day, people tempt fate and are injured or killed around train tracks. I've had personally in the past six months three or four very close calls with, with tractor trailers and, and loaded dump trucks. It can take more than one mile to stop a train. It takes a matter of seconds in a car. Seconds. That could save your life. 908 pedestrians were injured or killed while walking on or near a railroad back in 2013. More than 50% of people injured or killed on the tracks have drugs or alcohol in their system. Reporting live from the studio, Malcolm Johnson, WGXA.